Hello, one. Before I get started, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashan, Yahweh Shah, Bashan, Rakah Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders that learn this truth from the men of GMS and the brethren with the like mind and doctrine. This is the brother Bakala Wallah, giving another hopeful, edifying lesson to the elect body of Yahweh, Bashan, Yahweh Shah. Uh, the title of this video, you know, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to call it like, you know, um, it's, it's going to be class wars, race wars, civil unrest, sedition among men, right? Which, um, this is all prophecy that's talked about in the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, right? Which I'm going to get into that chapter in this lesson. But before we get to that, um, I got a couple videos or a few videos here that I would like to play right, which, which is going to, which is um, going to that prophecy, which is going to only heat up, you know, as um, time progresses, as the end draws near, you know, the end, the end draws nigh, you know. So um, the end is what the end of the so-called white man you saw Edom's rulership, right? Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse, you saw it's the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, you know. And these prophecies that the Lord said himself, Yahweh Shah, who Mashiach said, these things are going to occur. Those prophecies are occurring in the, you know, in live. In the, um, it's like your own. Those prophecies are occurring like as we speak, right, as I speak, right, so, uh, this video here says FBI agents kill Utah man who allegedly threatens Biden life, so that is what, sedition among men, you know, the 2nd Ezra 15 chapter talks about this, you know, they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions, the course of their actions shall stand in their power, so, Things are just going to get worse. You know, people are going to be on rest. Civil unrest is going to happen. Class wars, race wars, all these things are going to occur. It's only going to get um, worse as time progress. Um, this video right here, I'm going to play. So we're basically going to show this prophecy happening. So here it is. Major news today, and this also involves the president's visit to Salt Lake City. As just hours before this, this morning, FBI agents shot and killed a man who allegedly made some very concerning threats. And this was in Provo, again, just hours before the president was supposed to arrive in the Beehive State. Let's pull up a couple of statements here to give you a, a better idea of what we know right now. So this statement here is from the Salt Lake City FBI. It says, quote, the FBI is reviewing an agent-involved shooting, which occurred around 6.15 a.m. this morning in Provo, Utah. That incident began when special agents attempted to serve arrest and search warrants at a residence. And it says the subject is deceased. The FBI takes all shooting incidents involving our agents or task force members seriously. In accordance with FBI policy, the shooting incident is under review by the FBI's inspection division. As this is an ongoing matter, we have no further details to provide. So let's get into what we know about this so far, because again, this comes uh, on the day that the president had arrived in Utah for the first time since 2016. So this Utah man who is living in Provo is accused of making threats against the president and was ultimately shot and killed by FBI agents just hours before he landed in the state. Now, those FBI agents were trying to serve a warrant on a home there for the suspect. Craig Robertson is his name in Provo, which is south of Salt Lake City, when that shooting happened at 6.15 this morning. FBI releasing all of this in a statement. So we know some of this, but also a lot of details are unknown. What led to the shooting? How did it escalate to that point? Those are questions I know we all have, and we're going going to work to get those details, those questions answered as well. Now, Robertson allegedly 
posted online this week on Monday that he had heard Biden was coming to Utah, was planning to dig out a camouflage suit and, quote, clean the dust off of a sniper rifle court documents showing some of these details here. In another post, Robertson referred to himself as a MAGA Trumper. In other posts, he did indicate that he owned a long-range sniper rifle, numerous other weapons, as well as camouflage gear known as a ghillie suit. He was charged under seal on Tuesday with three felony counts, including making threats against the president. He also referenced uh, presidential assassination and made some other threats against other officials. That includes Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, as well as U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland. He wrote things allegedly like, quote, the time is right for presidential assassination or two. First Joe, then Kamala, unquote. So that's enough. You know, there was a guy, you know, which is an old video, but that shows you that it's addition. It's, you know, it's going to only increase in Babylon, you know, that, uh, you know, there was a threat on Joe's, Joe's life here, you know, and the FBI killed this guy, Utah man, which he also threatened other public officials, which they stated here. Now, I got to show you this video. Um, this is just one video that shows you that, and it's only going to increase. You know, he was a Trump supporter, right? MAGA Trump supporter. So that's uh, Esau divided, you know, Satan divided against Satan, you know, which is prophecy also, you know. So I got another video I want to uh, play along. Just bear with me. Yeah, I have this video here. It says, uh, Texas woman arrested for threatening judge overseeing Trump Trump's election case. So, that's what this is. Um, you know, she's an Edomite. You know, the lady that was threatening, you know, I'm assuming, you know, the lady. You know, because, you know, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to show her face. They don't show, they don't show. I mean, Edom, I mean, Edomites commit crimes. It's rare that you see videos, you know. Um, it's, you know, it's got to be a special occasion. You will see their face, you know. But it says that it's Texas woman arrested for threatening judge overseeing Trump's election. So what? They're, they're, they're not regarding their kings nor princes like a judge is, uh, you know, basically, you know, falls in that category. They got um power. Elect um you know they got they got authoritative power, you know. What is it? The, the ju judicial branch of, of the government, right? They got authoritative power. So I'm gonna just play she's overseeing Trump case. So basically this is so this is another Trump supporter. So here it is. So okay. Threats against judges have escalated into real harm. I mean, the killing of the son of U.S. District Judge Esther Salas, another man arrested with a, a knife and a gun last year near the house of Justice Brett Kavanaugh. What do we know about this threat against Judge Chutkin? According to court papers, Jose, uh, Abigail Joe Shry, who's 43 year, years old and lives in Alvin, Texas, south of Houston, called the chambers of Judge Chutkin after hours one evening and made this racist threat, uh, called her a stupid slave and the N-word, and then said, we are coming to kill you, essentially. And if Donald Trump is not elected, you will be targeted. And so... So what they call it, a stupid slave, you know, right? This judge here. So, of course, it's a Edomite, so-called white woman, right? And what is that? Race wars, man. Race wars, class wars, addition among men. Civil unrest. I mean, yeah, so like civil unrest, sedition among men. They said she's gonna um, rewind that. Hours one evening and made this racist threat, uh, called her a stupid slave and the N word, and then said, We are coming to kill you. And since they called this lady a stupid slave and the N word, they said, We're going to we coming to kill you. So, what is that? That's prophecy, man. It's taught about in the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. 
Exactly. And if Donald Trump is not elected, you will be targeted. And so uh, the Department of Homeland Security took this very seriously, went to pay her a visit. She acknowledged making a threat. She said she didn't intend to act on those threats. But nonetheless, she is now charged. And it emerged in the court proceedings against her that uh, she had been previously arrested four times for making similar kinds of threats. And I think what's notable here, Jose, is that Donald Trump hasn't said a word about this case in condemnation or otherwise, as he did not uh, when the FBI shot and killed another one of his supporters who was armed in Utah and had been threatening to assassinate Joe Biden. Uh, and so we're, we're in a climate here. So one of his supporters of Trump. Yeah, that, that's what we just got through sp speaking, you know, on uh, Utah uh, was threatening to kill Biden, right? So that's what we just saw that in the first video. And condemnation or otherwise, as he did not uh, when the FBI shot and killed another one of his supporters who was armed in Utah and had been threatening to assassinate Joe Biden. Uh, and so we're, we're in a climate here where uh, a group of people on the fringes are taking what they see uh, on media and on social media, uh, literally and to heart and becoming very angry. And some of the people that are ginning them up are not doing anything to, uh, to lower the temperature, Jose. They're not doing anything to lower the temperature. You know, the scripture also talks about, I think it's in Isaiah, talks about um, the Lord is going to bring fanners into Babylon, you know, which people are going to be en en enraged. You know, it's going to break, um, it's going to, um, let me get that scripture real quick, Salakia. Yeah, this this is in Jeremiah, Salakia, not Isaiah. Jeremiah 51 and 2, and it says, I will send, I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. Those fanners are people being inflamed, you know, by what's going on, what the information that they're hearing that's coming out, that's revealing all this truth, you know, that what's, what's happening here, what's happening there, people are going to be um, upset, you know, and you've seen those two cases where um, when it's involving Trump, they had a guy in Utah threatening Joe's, Joe Biden's life, and also um, another mega, mega Trump supporter threatening the, the judge, a so-called black woman, um, threaten her life. So that's what the Lord is doing. He said, I will send fanners in ba Babylon that shall fan her, you know. So those fanners are people being enraged, you know, inflamed, just like that guy said, uh, because of what's, what's being said and what's being done in Babylon. So this is another prophecy, right? God says, um, People not being, let me see what he said. I forgot how he said it. To lower the temperature, Jose. <laughs> People are not lowering lowering the temperature. People are being upset, uh, being inflamed and raged about what's going on. Right there. They see uh, on media and on social media, uh, literally and to heart and becoming very angry. And some of the people that are ginning them up are not doing anything to uh, to lower the temperature, Jose. So that's what that's what I'm talking about. The Lord said the fans, people are being enraged about what's going on. You know, that president, you know, you know I'm, going, I'm going to elect or you stand in the way of my president, my savior, you know, what he the mics. Um, coin, you know, um, Donald Trump, their basically savior, you know, you look at him like he's the anointed, you know, he's going to make their country great again. And if you stand in, the, stand in my way, stand in the way of that, so like you, you had to deal with me. So they're being in, inflamed, enraged, deflamed, the fanners, they're being enraged because of the information. Now I got another, um, Got this article here, right? Yeah, 
It says, um, people are going to die. People are going to die, right? I don't know why this video is playing. It says, people are going to die. Ex-Trump official warns CNN risk of assassination. The FBI is investigating online. People are going to die. Ex-Trump official warns CNN risk of assassination off the charts amid Trump threats. So what? Assassination is, is, is on the rise. You know, the threats of assassination being people, political people, polit political officials being assassinated is on the rise. It's off the charts, you know. The 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 risk is off the charts. And I'm gonna just um play this video here and um and show you how this is prophecy. So here it is. The FBI is investigating online threats against grand jurors who voted this week to indict former President Donald Trump in Fulton County, Georgia. Some jurors have had their addresses, phone numbers, and social media accounts shared on the Internet after their names were made public in the 98-page indictment. Joining us now to talk about this and other aspects of uh, the Trump case is Miles Taylor. He's the former chief of staff at the Department of Homeland Security during the Trump administration, the author of the new book, Blowback, A Warning to Save Democracy from the Next Trump. And I suppose there's the current Trump uh, as well to, to talk about. Um, you know, he's made these inflammatory comments about uh, the judge, about the special counsel, uh, and so on in these cases. You worked in his administration. How do you think this is going to play out? Because, I mean, I've talked to, um, was talking with John Dean about this last night. It's, it, it's going to be difficult to constrain him. And it seems as though he thinks he can just cross the line and nothing's going to happen. Well, based I, on past experience. Genuinely, Jim, I've been living inside of this data about political threats and political intimidation, and I worry legitimately that people are going to die. And we are seeing the threat of political assassination in this country is off the charts. And the experts I talk to compare it to only one thing, the 1960s. And we, of course, saw political violence. We saw political assassination in the 1960s. God forbid that happens, but the data supports that there is that danger. Look, we just saw the president of the United States threatened with an assassination plot. We saw on January 6th, the vice president of the United States threatened with death. We saw Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, her home broken into. That's the presidential line of succession, not to mention the senior members of Congress, the Supreme Court justices who've been threatened with death, the governor of Michigan who had an assassination plot, and this array of state and local election officials. So I do worry about it. And we saw after his home was raided a year ago, uh, a, a man went to the FBI field office in Ohio and shot it up. The judge here in D.C., after he was charged, has been threatened with assassination. And of course, now the jurors in Georgia in the case after he was indicted have been doxxed and threatened. I do worry you're seeing the light blinking head. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, yeah, that shows you this. And what? Uh, presidents, vice presidents, um, governors, mayors, judges, even jurors are being threatened with their life. Like, like the video, let's see if I can get this on, get the name of this video, I mean, this article again. The former Vice President Mike Pence, uh, he's speaking. Yeah, it says, people are going to die. Ex-Trump official warns CNN risk of assassination off the charts amid Trump threats. So that's, it's all prophecy, right? Even jurors threatening no, normal people's lives, right? Civil unrest, right? Sedition among men. Race wars, class wars, sedition, um, civil unrest, sedition among men. That's on um, second edge of the 15th chapter, right? Let me see. Second edge is 15 and 4. 14, Salaki says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. One people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand, in their hands, the mountain they sword is guns. Right? They, like you said, they talk about that January 6th. That was an example. 
you know, where they threaten Pelosi and the vice president life. During that time, president, you know, and you know that that goes into um, class wars and race wars and civil un civil unrest. That's what it's talking about there. For the sword and their destruction draw them nigh. One people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. You know that's sedition among men. We go into that word sedition, salakia. So this word sedition, right? Sedition. It says conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. So rebellion, riot, riot, riot um, rioting. So you see a lot of that also going on in Babylon. Insurrection, which is the same thing. That's what word I was trying to think. A violent uprising against an author authority or government. Insurrection. Sedition. It's the same thing. Riot and revolt. Mutiny. Civil disorder. You know. We took that out. But you know, civil disorder. Civil unrest. That's what sedition is. That's what's gonna that's what's coming and that's what's happening. You know, that's an example of that, you know. So this is all prophecy. That you know, that's prophesied to happen, it's only gonna get worse, right? It says um uh, six verse sixteen again, it says, For there shall be sedition among men. What is that? Insurrection. Uproars of the people, right? Violent. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princesses. And of course, if their actions stop standing in their power, right? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So, you know, these lockdowns is coming back. Along with that crown, that crown, that's coming back, and that's what they was taught. There's an article, you know, not to get off the subject, but there was an article that said the only way to deal with this crown coming back are lockdowns. So this is all prophecy, right? It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Those are lockdowns. Before... Oh, it's like it. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the cities... For because of their pride, the cities cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So... This, this is all prophecy where is that that's a verse 16 about the insurrection right it's like but yeah that's that all uh, sedition among men right that, that was basically what they were showing there about threatenings of the president's life, you know, judges, governors, you know, mayors, judges, even jurors, you know, their lives are being threatened, which um, is only going to get worse as time progress, you know, because it's prophesied, the Lord prophesied these things to happen and you see it, you know, this is the beginning of sorrows, you see it happening. You know, that's why you, you said it is. It's off the charts. You know, risk of assassination against public officials are off the charts. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video off that. I hope it was edifying to the elect. And I'm going to say, Call Halayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakatash.
Shalom to the next time. Yahweh, Rathazah, which means Lord willing. And Y, Abba, Abba, DTA soon.